fourth race of the Euro Formula Open season. Got off to a slightly messy start, partially mis malfunctioning lights. Meant the one or two drivers making the jump a bit early, but pole man Sandy Stuvik nonetheless got away to the perfect start, heading RP Motorsport teammate and race one winner Artur Janos into turn one, head of the Spanish teenage relation Alex Parlo. Everyone was cleanly through the first turn today, unlike the messy start to race one. So Yu Kanamaru was exploring the full extent of the track limits and a little bit more. So taking a trip across the gravel trap, Andres Saravia. As ever in the Euro Formula Open, the early stages were frenetic. The drivers taking full advantage of the slipstream effect down into Tour 1. Nick Spola making this move on Saudal Faisal. Followed through by Enrique Baptista. Had a good fight for fourth between Gerardo Nieto, Yarin Stern and John Simonian. As Yukanamaru's day went from bad to worse, he and Konstantin Tereshenko tangling at turn 11. Saudal Faisal was having his best weekend thus far in the Euro Formula Open until that happened. Damaged the Saudi Arabian driver's suspension from the heavy landing, putting him into retirement. Well, Sandy Stuvik and Artur Janos were the class of the field. Janos got alongside Stuvik, but bounced over the kerbs, was unable to convert the manoeuvre. Stuvik withstood the stoutest challenge to his lead. Gave Alex Parlow the opportunity to challenge and maybe move up into second position. It wasn't to be, and Janos was able to consolidate that runners-up spot. Another look at it, you can see just how hard Janos was trying, but he got launched over the curbs, the car breaking traction, and lightning reflexes preventing the spin. Janos, though, got his head down and tried to come back onto terms with teammate Stubik, the pair of them both chasing their second triumph of the season. Stubik bouncing back from a disappointing race one, which saw him finishing outside the top five for the first time in 17 races. Yaren Stern and Gerardo Nieto had a super scrap for fourth. Stern finding his way past Nieto midway through the lap. He was unable to pull a sufficient gap on the Mexican. That meant as they plunged downhill, the red car of Nieto, DAV Racing, was able to set up in the slipstream behind Yaren Stern as they headed along the 970 metre start and finish straight. Into turn one, Nieto taking full advantage of the slipstream, covering the defensive move from Stern and darting through. That gave John Simonian the opportunity to possibly demote Stern further still. The three cars running nose to tail into turn three. Simonian looking for the inside of Stern, who's doing much the same to Nieto. As they came out of turn four, Simonian felt he got the run on Yarin Stern into the hairpin at turn five. The Russian driver darted out very late, leapt to the inside, misjudged his manoeuvre and got launched over the top of Stern's car. The third crash in four races for Simonian. Yaren Stern left nursing a damaged wing and the incident looking no better from the other side. Talat Sathien Fikrol had to start from the pit lane, but he recovered nicely up through the field. Eventually got into the points. All the while, though, Sandy Stubik was in perfect command of proceedings. Last year's championship runner-up looking to claim the crown in 2014. Although Artur Janos was his ever-present shadow throughout, there was nothing that Janos could do. Yaren Stern's day went from bad to worse on the last lap. This tangle with Konstantin Tereshenko putting the Israeli driver into retirement. So it was the second win of the season for Sandy Stubik with Artur Janos, his third trip to the rostrum, and the same for the driver completing the podium, Alex Parlo. Delight for Stubik. And for the RP Motorsport team, three wins for them in four races. So Stuvik wins it from Janos and Paolo, Constantino Peroni, Cup Class winner.